and that's what we're about. I want to give a solidarity message from Jeremy who's campaigning elsewhere in the country today. So Jeremy Corbyn has said this, solidarity to everybody marching today. The Labour Party stands with you in opposing austerity to end the obscene levels of poverty and inequality in Britain. We need a general election now to bring about a fairer, more equal society we all want to live in. And we stand ready to take power. Jeremy Corbyn. It's eight years now, eight years of harsh austerity. Eight years ago, the Tories took a very specific decision. They decided that it wouldn't be the bankers and the speculators whose greed caused the economic crisis, it would be ordinary working people. And my God, they've in introduced policies over this last eight years which have actually ensured that, yes, ordinary working people have had to pay for that crash. You know what's happening in community after community. Tonight, there'll be 5,000 of our fellow citizens sleeping rough tonight in the fifth richest country in the world. I call that a bloody disgrace, don't you? 600 of our fellow citizens have lost their lives sleeping rough. Two of them, over the last few months, only feet away from the doors of Parliament. We cannot tolerate a society which neglects the most needy in such a way and puts lives at risk. And it's happening right the way across these stories and their austerity measures are tearing apart the very social fabric that, yes, Labour governments in the past have constructed. Our NHS now, 150,000 cancer patients whose treatment has been delayed. There's 100,000 vacancies in the NHS. We now have the largest number of children being brought into care since the 1980s because of the cuts that there is in local government and early intervention. And in education, a thousand short centre centres closed. We now have the cuts per pupils budgets for the first time since the 1990s. And yes, all those young people doing everything possible, staying on at school, doing their A-levels, going to university, they coming out with £57,000 worth of debt. That's what austerity has made. And you know, they thought they could take on the most vulnerable. And the most vulnerable are two groups in our society, children and disabled people. We've now got four million children living in poverty. The United Nations report said there are now children in thousands, hundreds of thousands living in destitution. And at the same time, at the same time in terms of disabled people, the work capability assessment producing on the last figures, well, associated with 600 suicides. It is a disgrace. As you know, I'm proud. I'm proud that our movement has stood up and said enough's enough. We're not taking it anymore. So I'm proud of disabled people against the cuts who've been demonstrating, occupied, campaigning against. I'm proud of all those women's groups that have been campaigning against austerity. 80% of austerity is born upon women. And I'm proud of those trade unions who have stood by their members and when their members have wanted to take industrial action, they've supported them and backed them against the attacks on trade union rights. But I'm also proud of the movement I've actually said, yes, we can oppose in Parliament. But we've told the Tories as well, we will oppose them in our communities and they will oppose them on the streets because these streets are our streets and they always will be. And now after, after eight years of harsh austerity they want to push us over the edge into a hard Brexit or a no deal Brexit which will sabotage our economy and sabotage our public services. So the solution is very straightforward. On Tuesday, 
we will defeat May's deal. And then, when the time is right, and I think it's coming very soon, we will move that motion of no confidence to bring this government down as soon as we can. Because the, the only solution to austerity, the only solution to tackling the threat that Brexit poses, is a general election and the election of a Labour government on a socialist programme under Jeremy Corbyn. Many of us for years have dreamt of the opportunity of a socialist in number 10. That opportunity we thought may not come for generations, but it's now here before us. We could have a socialist Prime Minister, and if he makes the right appointment, maybe a socialist Chancellor. But I give you this commitment, this movement we know the responsibilities that are upon our shoulders. And the responsibility that's upon our shoulders now, every one of us, is to ensure that we mobilise for a general election. And when that election comes, we elect a government that will end austerity, invest in our economy, have a fair taxation system, and ensure the rich and corporations pay their taxes so we can afford the public services we need.